The bill, titled Gender Parity and Prohibition of Violence Against Women, was presented during the Senate's plenary session by Senator Abiodu Olujimi, representing Ekiti South. The bill was rejected by majority of the lawmakers, who argued that it was in conflict with the Nigerian constitution, negates the principles of the Sharia law and the tradition and religion of the country. A stand human rights and civil society group differ on. We truly believe that it will give a boost, truly give a lift to women to attain the parity we, we really need in the political sector and even at the workplace. We, we know what to do as citizens to ensure that they pass a bill that we after all, you present it. I of that bill. So I believe it is high time they allow us to come up with them in every area of life in this nation. It's sad, really, that in this time and age, such a bill should be thrown away just like that. Uh, I believe the women folks in Nigeria and around the world, and I believe that uh, um, if given the right environment, our women can actually excel. And it might push away the issue of competence. But as far as I am concerned, if a woman is capable of handling a particular position, there's nothing wrong about it. Speaking on tradition and religion, which some of the lawmakers say the bill negates, the group noted that Nigerians cannot use tradition and religion as an excuse for the nation's inadequacies. So we cannot continue to lay hold, to anchor our present inadequacies on tradition. And it cannot be religion. Because religious bias are diverse. People hide behind religion, behind culture and tradition to make sure that they keep the woman as a second class citizen in the society. But I believe that having the woman come up and be at power with the man will help not just the men, it will help the nation. Most are women and young people. So if at this point in time, they are not important and, and they are only important when it comes to, 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 to the election period. That means something is wrong somewhere. The group also noted that they will keep pushing until the gender parity bill becomes a law in Nigeria. We will galvanize, we will strategize, we will reinforce and we will come back. It doesn't happen in my day. I want to put it to happen in the days of my children. But we'll keep coming up with the issue and we'll also tell our children, even if we go, we are gone, they should keep coming up with the issue until it is realized that, yes, this is what we need. It will be important for those who are for the bill, both the women legislators and the men legislators to come together, form a synergy and get other people involved also so that they can, against next time, a better bill will actually be brought up. I think they should look at it better and... It's very, very important that they look at what it entails and how it works out eventually for the Nigerian society. But I think they should take a second look at it. Meanwhile, the Senate President, Bukola Saraki, has advised Nigerian women to reintroduce the bill to the National Assembly for reconsideration. Nekaliuk, Liberty News.